Hello, my name is Aaliyah Atkins, and today I'm going to be giving medication via IV push. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is compare my Morris to my healthcare provider's order. What I'm looking for is the time, the route, the amount, the med, the patient, any allergies that the patient may have. I see that I'm giving all damn strong four milligrams IV push. And then from I'm going to check it side by side. And then now I'm going to give my medication and compare it to the Morris. Uh-oh. Okay, a uh, damn strong, damn strong. And I see that I have 40 milligrams and 20 milliliter vial on hand. And what I'm gonna do is do my math, which is already done, so I'm gonna be giving two milliliters. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is look at my drug book to see if it's safe dose. Okay, it says that the max dose um, of a damn strong is 16 milligrams per dose. So it is a safe dose. Um, With the dilution, it said that for IV injection, dilution is not required, and I'm not giving it diluted. Um, compatibility, I will see what was running in the patient's spoon, which is normal saline. And it says that the compatible solutions are D5W, normal saline, D5 pack, normal saline, things of that nature. Okay. Now I'm going to look at the rate of administration and see how long would I give it over. And it says that it can be given over um, a single four milligram dose over at least 30 seconds from two to five minutes is preferred. So I will be giving this medication over two minutes. Okay, so precautions. Okay, so I'm going to um, check for hypersensitivity reactions. Um, this medication is for the use for like nausea and vomiting and stuff like that. I'm gonna observe them closely, ambulate slowly to avoid orthostatic hypertension. So I'm gonna educate the patient that you know, this medication can cause dizziness and things of that nature. So call me when you need to go to the restroom so you won't fall to prevent like fall. I'm gonna monitor for signs and, and symptoms of hypersensitivity. So like the redness, the rash and things like that. Monitor for serotonin syndrome. Um, I'm also going to monitor their mental status and agitation and things like that. And signs and symptoms of valid description. Okay. Okay, and the most common side effects reported were diarrhea, fever, and headaches. So, make sure I got everything. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is compare, I mean, prepare my medication. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to clean the bowel. So I'm gonna be giving two milliliters. Two milliliters. Uh -oh. Let me get these carrots out of here. Scoop cap. Okay. Now I'm gonna label. Drew's name. Very strong. Also, before I would have drawn up that medication, I would have looked on the valve at the expiration date. And the expiration date is good. Okay. So I will be giving four milligrams. 
Which version are you on here in the song? I must have this two milliliters. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is go into the patient's room. So I have my medication is labeled. I have my mark. And now I'm about to enter the patient's room. I'm going to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Lydia Atkins. I'll be your student nurse for today. And today I'm going to be giving you medication via IV cushion. It's Odanistrom. So this is for any nausea, nausea or vomiting that you may be experiencing. If you feel any burning or rash or any type of discomfort when I'm giving this medication or after, please don't hesitate to let me know and before i go any further i'm gonna wash my hands and identify my patient all right looking at the arm brand can you tell me your name and date of birth do you know where you are okay do you have any allergies okay now i'm going to look at the site assess the site for any redness or hives or anything that may be on the site making sure that it's good and intact Next, I'm going to check for patency, and how I do that is I am going to lower the bag below the arm, checking for blood return. And if I see blood return, that means that the the line is patent. Watch for blood return, and the line is patent. I'm going to look at these IV fluids to make sure that there's no cracks or anything in the tube band to make sure that it is the correct IV fluids that are running at the time. Now I'm going to prepare to administer the medication and I'm going to administer medication in the port that is closest to the patient. I'm going to scrub the hook for 60 seconds, scrubbing it for 30 and letting it dry for 30. And I will be giving this medication over two units. What's your desk clamp? And clamp. And as I'm giving this medication, I will inform the patient to let me know if they're feeling any discomfort as I'm giving the medication. I'm going to be doing the push pause method. And I'm going to start now. Giving one milliliter per minute. Okay. I'm going to give this last milliliter of this last minute. Assessing my patient, make sure they're not experiencing any discomfort or anything.
I will discard all of this in the short container. Assist my patient, ask them how they're doing, if they feel any discomfort. No? Okay, good. Then I will document the procedure. I will document the time, the route, the amount, the med, the patient, and how well the patient tolerated the procedure. And that concludes my video.